Hey guys, it is Thursday today. We've been doing, uh, or we did snatches on Thursday last week. We'll be doing it again this week. So we got a little bit different uh, rep scheme as far as our, our tempo and everything like that. Um, we're focusing a little bit more on um, on volume uh, with the with the snatches and cycling, basically. Okay, so. Um, this week we'll be doing power snatches, and we'll, so we'll be taking it from the ground. We've got eight reps to do. Uh, we'll go every two minutes for four sets. So it's gonna get your heart rate up, um, make you work on your position, but build up in weight if it feels good. Uh, we're starting out a, a, a lighter-ish weight, 45 to 50-ish percent. So do the best you can um, holding on. If it feels tough, just keep the same weight, okay? But when we're doing the, the power snatches, Okay, since we are holding it on for, for a long period of time, you should be doing a hook grip. So you bring that thumb around the bar, two fingers around the thumb. If you're not used to doing that, start working on it. All right. So setting up wise, okay, you want that bar to be sitting right in that hip crease, all right, with long arms. My elbows are gonna be turned out here, my back is tight, my belly is tight. Okay, I'm gonna address the bar here. Should be midfoot, knees are out. I pretty much, everybody's bodies are gonna be a little bit different, but for me, I try to touch my knees to my, my elbows. Okay, so I'm splaying my knees out, okay? <clears throat> when I drive that weight up, I'm gonna push my knees out of the way, bring it through, and I'm catching overhead. Locking out those elbows, bring it all the way up. I'll bring it back down to my chest hip area. Okay, all right, guide it down. Touch the ground with long arms. Jump and catch. And you're doing eight of those, okay? Again, if that felt good, next set. Add a little bit of weight. Try to hit eight again, okay? Still working on position, getting underneath that bar, all right? Work on that speed on the bar. Okay. After that, we've got a long uh, 24 minutes workout. Nothing too crazy. It's gonna involve row and kettlebells. Uh, goal is to get the most distance you can in 24 minutes with the rower, okay? So you should just be going at a nice steady pace, slightly-ish uncomfortable, um, but something you can maintain for 24 minutes. Every four minutes, and starting with four minutes, you're gonna do a farmer's carry, okay? So holding on to your kettlebells on the side here, nice and tall, just a nice steady walk, all right? It's not meant to be ran with, okay? Meant to be stabilized as you're walking down and back. You're going for 300 feet, all right? So <clears throat> that'll be down and back, the full length of the room, three times, all right? Uh, that should take you maybe a minute-ish or two, something like that with transition. So hopefully you get at least two minutes per time on the rower, that's kind of the goal. Or you can use some other piece of equipment too, if you've been rowing or um, just want to get something different in. But that'll be your, uh, your workout for Thursday. <laughs>